Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today's the 2nd of June. Um, what we want to do is we want to give you a live report from Northern Iowa on the farm fields. We talk about the farming, agricultural this year. Um, a lot of, we haven't had a lot of rain. Let me take that back. We have had a lot of rain, but it's not like the, the middle of the Midwest. Um, so our, our flooding isn't as bad as what most people down south are. If you look to the right, she pans it over, they're still not even planting here yet. These fields haven't even been plowed. Um, we're doing a garden right now, we've been having some problems with that too. This field is finally getting plowed today as it looks, I think, maybe. maybe. But they're not even, they're not even seeded yet. And the problem is, everybody says that the food's going to cost a lot. That'll probably come next year. But they'll probably start raising the prices now this year to get everybody acclimated. My personal opinion, get everybody acclimated to the increases of price of food. Um, not only the food prices will go up, from my personal opinion, I believe the, um, the cattle, everybody, everything else that feeds off of corn. Yeah, these people are finally in. They finally plow that. But they're going to have to. And these people are seated over here. Yeah, they're barely. In this place. I think they just got done last week. Or a couple yeah, days ago. Yeah, this one's barely popping up. This yeah. field. You can see it. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what's happening is, is not only the price of food's going to go up all the way around, um, the tariffs are going on with China and everything else. So that's going to make the market fluctuate a lot. President Trump, I think, did a $15 billion aid for package right now for the farmers because of the tariffs. And that's not even including because of the, the wet season we're getting. Usually the corn by now is damn near shin height. By July 4th, it should be over the knees. And, and this one on this field here is barely ankle high, if even that. You can tell all the erosion that's happening too because of all the soil looking stuff. These people over here barely are getting in today. They started that last night. But these people to the right of us hasn't even gotten their field yet. So we have a lot of stuff that's on planet. So getting back to what I was saying before, prices of food are going to go up because of the feed and everything else. Um, the price of ethanol is going to go for a little swing as well. But one thing that people are not are not um, taking in or considering is medicines. A lot of bear pharmaceuticals, stuff like that. We get our medicines from the corn as well. And these people are going to planting it or plow. So that's that's what it's looking like around here. Um, there's still standing of water in a lot of places. This is CRP land over here. So they won't even touch that. They finally got into this today and got that planted for CRP land. So we have we have had a wet so, uh, wet spring this year. They're about two months behind. And the difference between farming, I know some of you guys probably understand this, between farming and gardening, is with farming, you plant your crops and then you have to let them dry before you harvest them or they'll get all moldy and everything else. And you won't have a very good crop at all. And your prices of, if you bring it to the co-op or the ethanol plant, they will give you the uh, best price for it. They'll just give you spot stuff for like trash. If it was like gold and silver, if you bring in a bunch of junk, they'll give you a spot price. And they won't give you a top peak price for it. So it's really a big gamble. All the farmers this year aren't even planting at all. And that has to be very, very irritating for them. Um, like these guys here. Yeah, they, they finally got up. And they were planted that way probably a week and a half, two weeks ago. Yeah. But you see, just on the other side of the road, there's nothing yet. They aren't even in their fields. They haven't just did. They haven't planted nothing. Right. 
So just just some things to think about, guys. Um, gardening, you don't have to let your plants dry out. You can harvest it when it's all fresh and stuff. I would suggest everybody getting out and trying to start a little garden. It might offset your prices of food just a little bit, but a little bit is better than none. And also, when you plant your own food, you don't have to pay the taxes for it. So it's a win-win. One other thing I want to talk to you guys about, I just remembered, is a small town farmer, like a homestead farmer, or a hobby farmer, people can say it, or a person who works all day, um, versus a corporate farmer. A lot of times people think, oh, if you're a corporation and you're a farmer, you can do all this stuff and get all your crops in and everything else and everything else. But what happened is, is when all these corporations, these farms sold out to big corporations, and they have all this land, they don't have time. If you only have a few days, a window to get inside and plant before it starts raining again, and you have to let it dry out and tilling and everything else because it comes up in big clumps. But if you're a big corporation farmer and you have owned thousands upon thousands of acres, you may got the time to plant. So these are a lot of the people that are not getting in their fields. They're still barren and they're still working around the clock. And what happens when that, when that happens is if they don't have their deadlines for stuff, they won't be able to dry out the crop. They won't be able to do stuff like that and get it out in time before the winter season, the freeze, and everything else goes through. So we'll be behind for next year as well. Um, late season last year, they weren't able to get in their crops because there was just, it was just too wet. These people finally got their stuff plowed. Um, Looks like they're just checking it out. Yeah, but they're just looking through and see how wet it is. So in case, if they have to bring all the tractors and plant the stuff and spray it and all do all that stuff. But the, cor the corporate farmers are the ones having the problems. And same thing with the hobby farmers, the ones that work all the time. Because if you're at work, you have to be at work. And you, you do it just to subsidize some money or whatever. They don't, they don't really get subsidies like the, the big corporate farmers do. But when you're a farmer, a small town farmer, and you have just a bit of acreage, if you have to work, you have to work. You know what I mean? So, like over here, coming up on the right-hand side of the road, these people are finally planting. They've been planting for now for about a week and a half, two weeks. But these people have planted, and they're still standing water. Their, their seeds are popping, they're germinating and popping and sprouting up, but there's still water. These people are finally getting to their, into their field, and they're just tilling now. With uh, corn, you have to really till up the soil pretty good. It puts all the beans, because it's mostly beans and, and corn around here. And you have to do a crop rotation because of the nitrogen in the soil and stuff. You want to have your soil be pretty darn good. But these people aren't even getting in their crops at all. And the problem with that is, when your land is worth $10,000 an acre because their yields are so high, your taxes go up on your land. And when your taxes go up, they don't bring them down every year or a year that is bad for winter or bad for the summer or, or whatever. They just make them pay taxes. What it is, what it Show is. Yeah. We're going to take it, yeah. We're going to take it left right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> But we want to show you this one. Um, let me turn the corner real fast. But this one farm field right here, these are just mom and pop farmers. They did all their drainage tile and, and stuff, but they still, every time it rains, this thing backs up. So I don't know how they're gonna pay their taxes on this stuff. I don't know if they own this property. I think they do. The one just, I think that yeah, I think they own both of those. But they're not. They're not even in their things. And they say that they're gonna not plant this year. Some people say I'm not sure if these people are not gonna plant or not. But if they don't plant, you know, all their farm equipment. John Deere's doing a production slowdown because um, no one's gonna be able to buy the products for next year. 
and people have to understand a lot of the farmers, a lot of the corporate farmers are the biggest welfare cases around. And I'm not saying welfare like people that live in the hood or something like that, but they're corporate welfare. They get all the subsidies. So, just food for thought, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, subscribe and like and do all that fun jazz that everybody else says. Um, hello to my new subscribers. Hello to my old ones. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy your week.